What is up everyone and welcome back to more Attack on Titan. I am here with my reaction to episode 23. Now I reckon things are gonna cool off just a little bit but I'm just kind of curious to know like how are they gonna wrap up season one. I can't believe we're actually at the end of season one already. I'm so excited. Everyone is telling me that season four is like phenomenal, mind-blowing, even season three as well. So I'm kind of like, right, that's cool. Season one has been awesome anyway, but if it only gets better, then I'm even more excited. Now don't forget if you are watching this on my YouTube channel to smash that subscribe button and if you want to watch the Patreon style version of this video to head on over to my website suzylou.co.uk. All right, let's watch this. I don't know why, but that little noise that it makes at the start of the episode gives me chills. You know the one that's like <laughs> The Titan Kid and those big shot handlers of his have been summoned to the capital, which means they'll be passing through here today. Is that so? Well, then maybe this time they'll just dissect him and get it over with. I just <gasps> hope he doesn't st No! I mean, I know they said that they were going to be, like, handing him over from the scouts, but not to kill him. Mario, Rose, Cena! To even think of defiling the three goddesses, we tempt the specter of- These lunatics all worship the walls as if they're some kind of gods. I know, it's so weird, and they're kind of toffs as well. I don't like them. I feel like all the rich people are within, like, the deepest walls because they've got the most protection. I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's kind of how I see it. You've been pretty lax in your duties recently. Look, Marlo, you've upset her. She's antisocial, not upset. Knock it off, you guys. She fought in the Battle of Tross before coming here which makes her the only one of us who's ever seen any real action. She's just been through hell. Probably takes time to readjust. Ah, so you have a crush on the new girl, huh? What? You're such an idiot. So basically, you've never seen any action and you're still cocky. Well, I'm sure we'll knock that out of you soon. It's just amazing how cocky people are, but it's like you don't know anything. What exactly are we supposed to be protecting this convoy from, sir? Hmm? It's just that I've never heard of anyone defying the government. They're just glad to be safe. There are petty criminals, sure. But I find it hard to imagine any actual organization existing within the wall that would attempt to strike. I mean, what possible motive would they have? Oh, you think that the government's the good guys? Yeah, right. We officers are busy enough as it is. Prove that you can handle this one yourselves. Oh, and you better not screw it up, got it? They don't like actually giving people a lot of information, do they? I suppose it's kind of the same as the army, though. You're just the hired hands. I mean, that is why I chose to join, but still. I might have thought twice if I'd known that meant the rookies got stuck doing all the work all the time. Seriously. I wish someone would have warned uh, Bastards. They're all irresponsible, self-absorbed imbeciles. All of them. <laughs> so what's that make you, Marlo? You chose to join the military police. You're a slacker just like the rest of us. I joined up because the military police is in dire need of repair. Wow, that was great, Marlo. I never begged you for the crusader type. Oh my god, she's so sarcastic. I'm not sure what I think of her just yet. The MPs just need a little discipline. And nothing more. I'll shape them back into the people they're supposed to be. <laughs> I'm really not happy that this is who we're supposed to be handing Aaron off to. Like, it's not a good start, or a good look for the military police. Don't get me wrong. I don't doubt your sincerity. I know conviction when I see it. You're not the first person I've met who thought they could take on the world and change things for the better. It takes a lot of courage to go against the flow. I respect that. Of course, it could be that you're all just a bunch of fools. They might be, but don't go lumping me in with them. Well then go prove yourself then. Let's see what you've got and see if you can actually back up the things you say. He does remind me a little bit of Eren though. He's got that same kind of spunkiness about him, that craziness. Hey, watch it, bud. What's going on? That's our gear. Shipping it to the interior? Isn't it a bit strange having the Merchant's Guild conduct the transport? What are they up to? Oh, is that some bribe money? 
Are those bastards illegally selling government property? <sighs> well, I mean, he likes the action, so let's see what he does. What do you think you're looking at, huh, rookie? You... you can't sell government equipment. It's against the law. Is that so? <laughs> Come on, put your head up! Don't look down! Can you believe this business? A rookie blackmailing his superior officers. I'm thinking you've got a bright future ahead of you, kid. Uh, oh, hush She'll money. No, no, no. <laughs> Take that money out and throw it back. <gasps> oh my god, dude! I told you guys there was so much corruption in this place. Why is no one else stepping up? What the hell? Girl! Hey, wait! Please tell me that you are gonna kick their ass! Disregard for the rule of law is standard procedure. So is this! Thank He's you, girl! Me, don't you think, sir? So sorry about that, fellas. I hope our idiot hasn't caused you too much trouble. We'll be sure to drive the lesson home, don't you worry. Unless, of course, you'd rather have a much bigger problem on your hands. <clears throat> Just this once. Sir! Wow. So there is. The people that have the money, as per usual, are causing all the corruption. That poor guy! Go ahead. Aren't you going to make the dishonest pay for their transgressions? I'm not entirely opposed to helping you out with that. <laughs> Maybe not when there's an audience around. Their time will come. Hey, little lady. You working hard or hardly working? You boys are all the same. <laughs> Those people you know. The other fools you mentioned. Would they have done it? Aaron? Yeah, probably. Maybe. That's just a part of what it means to be ordinary. <laughs> Simply going with the flow. Is that so bad? To some people it makes you weak. But an ordinary person is all I want to be. But then you'll never make a change in the world. Who wants to be the same as everybody else, especially in this Titan world? Why would you not want to excel, make a difference, make the world a better place? Maybe I'm just too adventurous. Hello. So, you're a full-fledged MP now. Armin. <laughs> what are you doing, Armin? Like, why are you pulling her aside like that? Is it because you don't want to hand Aaron over? I don't know if I want to hand Aaron over either. What's this about? Annie, we have a plan for Aaron to escape and we're hoping that you'll help us. Wait, escape to where? Stuck behind these walls, where can you possibly hide that they won't find you? We'll only need to hide him for a short while. This isn't a mutiny. We have every intention of returning. View this as a few loyal scouts staging a small act of protest. It's a stall tactic. We need time to gather enough evidence to overrun the Council's ruling about Aaron. That's all we want. You're serious about this? Oh, 110%. Sorry, Armin. I'm gonna have to decline. What, Let Annie? Best of luck. Well, I'm sorry, but this plan is still happening. They'll kill him for no better reason than that they fear what they don't understand. They don't see that their fear is pushing humanity to the brink of extinction. Maybe it's too late to change their minds. But what if we can? We have no choice but to bet everything on that chance. But, well, the only way to sneak him through the wall scene at checkpoints is with the help of someone in the military police. Come on, you don't want to let Aaron die. Regardless, if you still choose to say no to this request, then at least in my eyes, that makes you a bad person. Oh, and you don't want to be a bad person, not in Armin's eyes. Come on, you know you want to save Aaron. I would not be happy if Armin called me a bad person. It's a really difficult place that she's been put in, though. 
Let's go. Nice. Good girl. Thank you. Okay. I just love how Aaron's always kind of like calm. He's always like, this is fine. We're going to get out of here anyway. Stupid military police. Hopefully they haven't noticed my stand-in yet either. It's not going to hold up under close scrutiny. After all, Jean and I look nothing alike. It's close enough. You both have that same angry scowl and the same boulder-sized chip on your shoulder. Oh my god, see if anything happens to Jean? Like, I'll be raging. I really like his character. Why didn't you just avoid all this trouble in the first place? You could have escaped before reaching Stohas, right? I mean, why wait till now? I felt that this town's complex layout would allow us to squeeze a bit more time out of our body double ploy. Of course, a head-on assault is ill-advised. So as long as the convoy acts like it's following orders, then everyone keeps their defenses down. I see. It's a very good plan. Of course it's a very good plan. It's from Armin. He's our intelligent boy. But surely Jean is a lot taller than Eren as well. Because Eren always looked really short to me. Annie, what's the matter? You're not afraid of dark, cramped spaces or anything, are you? I mean, she's been through quite a lot, okay? I wouldn't expect a suicidal maniac like you to understand. You don't know what it is to be an ordinary girl, crippled with fear. A girl who can flip a full-grown man upside down has nothing to fear from the dark. Cut the crap and let's move. Wow, you definitely lost your nerve there. You should be nicer to her. Above ground, I'll help. Otherwise, the deal's off. Has someone got a flashlight for Annie? Quit being stubborn, damn it! Just get the hell down here! Move! We're running out of time, Stop all right? Stop shouting! Someone will hear you! I'm sure it's fine, Mikasa. <laughs> it seems that for whatever reason, this place has been completely deserted. <sighs> the way you're looking at me now, if I didn't know better, I'd say you didn't trust me. Hey, Armin. <laughs> the way you're talking to us right now makes me not trust you. It had all the same dents and scrapes. See, I helped him with maintenance, so I know you used it. Yes. I found it. Found it and took it. <laughs> then, the two titans we had in custody... It was you that killed them! Annie! Oh my god! Why did you wait this long to say anything? Because even now it's difficult. I just didn't want... I didn't want to believe that I was right. So I stayed quiet. But then... Out in the field... The fact that you didn't kill me then and there... That's the moment that set us on the path to our current situation. I don't know what to make of this right now. Of course, I never dreamed you'd end up cornering me like this. So who else knows? Annie, please! You've taken this joke far enough! Just tell us this is some kind of horrible prank! It's not too late! I don't think this is a horrible prank, Aaron! You can prove to us that we're mistaken by walking down these stairs! Prove we're wrong to accuse you! We both know I can't. Like I told you, I don't have the constitution for it. Annie, stop! We're talking about a matter of life and death! Work with us, Annie! We can reason this out like human beings! Enough! Oh, Mikasa's pissed! I'm going to carve you up again! Do you understand me, Titan? Oh my god! Okay, why are you laughing like that, you creepazoid? You know, Armin, it's nice that I could be a good person for you. For now, at least, it looks like you won your bet. But I'm going to gamble too, and here's my wager. <laughs> oh God! No! No! <laughs> Too late. Oh god, not good, not good, not good. Holy crap. 
okay, well, that puts, like, all my theories just out there completely. It was like, when she was talking initially, I was like, wait a minute here. What the hell? I didn't see that coming at all. I feel like maybe that entire episode it should have, but... So... Oh, I'm so confused, you guys. Like, I'm so confused. Like, so... The people... I'm so confused. Like, I'm really confused by this episode. So let me just say, like, my... My confusion with the episode... Is... Obviously, Armin explained little bits and bobs about why he was kind of suspect of Annie. But all the people behind her, why did they all rush for her? Because they know, right? Like, they know that she's the female titan. Like, am I getting that right? Like, I just feel... I feel really confused by that whole thing, but I guess it's just not really explained or I've missed something or I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to watch that episode again because them saying that she's the female Titan, that kind of like crept up on me a little bit and I was like not expecting it and I wasn't sure if that's where they were even going with that. And then when she confirmed it, I was like, well, why? Do you know what I mean? Why Annie of all people? Yeah, that's... That's crazy. So then why was Annie after Aaron? Ah, the questions. There are so many questions. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to this episode and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.